Hey everyone, I'm Happy Camper, and welcome to the Eastern Street Mark Right one. So, so we've done all of the boards technically. We have not done a Eternal Star yet. There's just the stats, I guess. Uh, we're gonna be having some fun. We're gonna screw around the options, the modes, the ownership. <laughs> oh my god, really? It's gonna be one of those turns, isn't it, where everything breaks again, isn't it? Yeah. Go to the car and begin to take voices. Master of Mono. Not much there. Do you want to erase your file, which I'm going to wood? This is the bank, which keeps your items. You can see I have most of these. Uh, these will basically turn off Kumba and Boo for the board. I don't know why you would do that ever. I'm just worried to buy items, but we have everything essentially. Uh, this is Minimum Island, if you want to play that, which we're not going to. Uh, you can play mini games, buy mini games. Uh, we'll be doing this in a minute, a lot of skills. Uh, this is just to see how fast you can run to the snake, which I will show off. Probably not very good. I'll swap to the air control if I need to. Actually, not bad. Well. We're going to be stepping to the pot of skills today. Our medium stadium, I'm sorry about that. Just me, of course. Um, we're going to pick random characters, I guess, with what these guys. Uh, you are allowed to give everyone a handicap to make this fun. I'm going to get everyone 50. This is actually the best way, if you need to ride for points to buy mini games, this is the best way to do it. All of them are hard. Uh, we're gonna be doing 30 turns. Uh, I personally like this mode. Well, they even say I'm under, guys, it's the truth of there's no stars for just ones in the game, so. We were back on last night, died for that. Just give me a second. Understand you were in trivia night. Yeah. What was that about? It was just random uh, questions that, of course, some of us got wrong because some of us fought one thing, or of us fought another thing, so. Uh, I'm looking forward to. I'm so looking forward to making the thousand sub special, but it's basically just gonna be a shout out video since I'm originally really have nothing else to do that won't get me in some kind of trouble, but I'm I'm definitely looking forward to Nick's story November. Anyway, here comes the game. 
Yeah, we're doing a minigame stadium land action board, so it's just a uh, small board to test your minigame skills. I honestly like it. Cool. <sighs> also, thanks for not killing my mic this time, like a certain somebody was. Oh my god. He was playing the soundboard and was very like clipping my mic, which, yeah, that, that was not. I... Oh Christ, we're gonna have to do with that freaking noise again. Which I said we can't piss. Just fall off the freaking thing away, my god. There are no bonus stars in this mode, thankfully, so you don't have to worry about losing freaking bonus links. Thank you. Hmm. And the other guy cut off. Great. Hmm. I'm, uh... I'm speaking of video games, I'm wondering what kind of games they include for that Nick Arcade reboot. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what that's going to be. It's going to be... It's gonna be one great commitment to see it all, but I'm sure we're gonna have a crazy time reacting to it and then in, I don't know, like five months. Maybe. Uh, the new season of Postcation, I put my um, reaction in the archive, so. So it's like easier to deal with. Great point to see him. Also, yeah, everyone starts out with normally 50, like 10, but I gave everyone a handicap to make it more fun. Um, folks, if you actually need grind points for minigames, it's the best way to do rare, so freaking screw it, it's not even funny. And, yeah, of course I was the only guy hit. I'm seriously wondering when all those Nick Gas and codes were. The, the metadata is not easy to obtain. Oh, I added the rest of uh, Family Dumbbell in 1990 to my collection because why not? I mean, we're just adding a good amount of episodes, so. There's stuff, so. Two. But I'm Ready? starting to wonder if there's going to be a, a time when Nick actually forgets to renew one of their shows and people are going to post it basically everywhere. Yeah, Imagine a, a club like that. I mean, you know how they accidentally used fan art for one of their shows? Alright, one sec. I'm in the way. Okay, we got it. Thank God. Oh, we were actually supposed to break the record. Wow. Okay, uh, do you, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty much 
We sadly have figured out that Nick has reduced copy right now. They only double there, but I'm wondering what's going to happen if they accidentally, they accidentally fail to renew a newer show like uh, Figure It Out. That will be in like 2025 if they fail to do so. Man. It would be a great day for us, though, wouldn't it? Yep. Let's slip on the first fucking thing. Another thing, back when you were younger, did you watch most of those like say Nick Tunes, those those Encodes TV works on YouTube when they actually <laughs> allow that stuff? I remember. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing so well? But I knew, again, I knew you'd be very successful with those commercials. Yeah, I up with the Edge World episodes, so I'm like, I might as well do something. The comic's actually not too bad. I replaced um, the Paramount Plus copy with that one on my archive. Good. And... And again, and those uh, other April 97 commercials are there if you want. But I record the other, got the other half on my channel. Yeah, I got the nightmare stuff done recording. I already got that recorded, so. I separated into two parts one for the video itself, and the one for the board game. It's a bit easier. So, most of this, I filmed like a couple segments. I didn't like the way it turned out, so I was basically re watching the old video see what I did differently, so I'm like, how do I make this work for less on me? Yeah, but that would be, I always thought I would do something. Because what I've been doing is because of the storage or something, I've been ever uploading. I just download the YouTube like and let me swap it out for the storage. So it's a lot easier. Oh, I checked out Racist's site. He's all limited right now, so I'm assuming he's busy and stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna wait out. After all, we have just over a week. Ready? Go! And he said he tried to get the, he got the figure out and it wasn't the figure like before, so... To be fair, it was a one-in-three shot of getting it, so... Might as well take a chance to get Yeah. Uh... I mean, I could still get it from Ryan, maybe, because... Oh, wow! Oh, I have a burger. Oh, it's the first time I've ever had a full burger, but... How did nobody spit out one from that minigame? I guess I've never seen it before. I think I should have mentioned something about a couple more sounds. I have two more that I'll be right in the suite, so I can do the clutch at some point. The weird thing is I actually got one in the box for actually cheaper than I would if I got it open. Surprisingly, because it's actually still in the box. And what? And I'm still hoping that there's going to be more physical media available. Yeah, I'm 
the next the, the, the app, what's happening with AI and all the upgrading internet stuff, because, I mean, you saw that, you saw about all those videos about why physical media still matters, especially that, uh, that big Sim Simpsons DVD video. <laughs> But of, but of course, if they're not gonna make them into DVDs, we will, if we want to. Yeah. But the problem is, if you try to copy like certain VHS tapes onto DVD, they, you're probably aware of this, but some of them were built with copy protection. Now, because I know that Nightmare videos, because someone made like DVD copies of them. This is kind of a spoiler for a uh, Nightmare 4. There's no music video at the end of the video, but the DVD doesn't have it, so... Um, I specifically bought a... Yeah, so I specifically bought, um, uh, the VHS, because I bought a third-party copy. I bought the VHS page just to have the tape. Yeah, I have the uh... Is there any... Oh, whoa. Do you plan on any, getting any other DVDs in the future? I'm not sure, honestly. The same ones I mentioned before, I mostly play my, like, international releases that are hard to find. There's also, like, a couple, like, all the versions. Jesus, you freaking split. There's old versions, but there's... It's basically like it has to have this specific current date, but I'm not gonna freaking worry about it. that you found at the convention sold. Listen, it was still okay. My brother got, uh, he had an iCarby one last time. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, the original final season was never released to DVD. Uh, which one? The original final season, season six. Yeah, I hope it was. And I, yeah, I also know that the f final 27 episodes of Victorious were never released to DVD. Yeah, yeah both incidentally. One. The DVD. The DVD. I realize that most of these Nick DVDs list the shows in production order, but sometimes it's, they do it differently. I guess it's probably part of the Because I know I had chips. I, I know on the iCard the iCard chips is in the third episode listed, so I, the continuity error is the grace for me using that episode. I got an episode. Yeah, I got most of these. Yeah, that was the 11th produced episode. And I gotta remember... I'm probably gonna have to get, like, the old, uh, DVD... D player... ...out from the, uh, library to test out. How well the how well these DVDs have survived. But uh if you look back at those very old DVDs, they always went right from the movie and then when you hit the menu button it just says resume to movie, not play movie. Some of those are weird, but they know there's a couple like DVDs that don't don't work on the menu. Some of them when I got a couple of little things as it came. You know how someone had like like song selection or whatever? 
Yeah. Dance Party and Boop and Yummy Yummy are basically just ripped from their VHS tape because they have like commercials at the beginning, but they don't even have the songs left. Isn't that the one that LSSQ complained about how he couldn't skip the puppet song? Yeah, Yummy Yummy was. Is that yeah, because I had wow. two, I had two other songs in Australia, but they had to switch from video legal issues. But was was Fast Pro Work not compatible with that DVD either? No, it was it was. So he ten oh he just couldn't directly skip it then. But so but again that kind of makes sense that it was. A straight work because that was the start of DVDs. To the best of my knowledge, it was 98. Yeah. The DVD, I think, was 2002 or something. Because I had a thing for Boop DVD on it. Finish! What? Mm. Game, could you stop with the biasness? Nobody's off. Yeah, I'm like, wait, why is my chat in? I'm like, oh wait, it's only Sniper John. It's probably where Ben freaking is at in my car. So, so, okay, so we found biases in Brain Search, uh, Hidden Temple. Uh, Nick Arcade didn't really have a bias. Uh, figure it out. If it was just Danny getting slimed, that was their bias. But. It's kind of the paper season one was freaking blue, which I already mentioned. I won't do. I just might make a video because someone requested. I might do the winners for the first season of Hunter's Keepers. I would do make the great the first two episodes, I can't find it. I can't really do that. Sure. This is the weird thing that is, season one technically had a 2020 split, but the orange team only won six grand prize, but the yellow team won like 11 or something. Finish. I don't know, it was wow. like 10 or something that. The orange only won two bonus prizes, the yellow team I think won like four or something. Mm. Oh now looking Speaking of those uh, plugs, I was all surprised that the one episode that kept the plugs was the one where the dad's pants almost fell off. <laughs> But to be honest, we're just gonna have to wait to find your plugs for a double there. It's, uh, it's I mean, not worth it. Race has two of the episodes. We're having a more racist to one. He has the test names and then he has the freaking 111 of the celebrity. Hmm. And then there was a... Yeah, the reason I say that is, no one where the score is level, like, in the game broke the character of the year up. No, that's because he spent, like, three freaking minutes trying to explain a physical challenge. Well, uh, that reminds me, did you see Isaac's video on Double Dare? I don't think so, no. Where's my... He said that sometimes, he said sometimes it would take them, the interviews at the start of the episode, sometimes they would take 20 minutes. They have to like either restate what they, what seems most appropriate for the air date, or they, or they elaborate uh, too much, or sometimes the physical challenges take a lot longer to, to either set up or clean up. According to him, it took two to two and a half hours to shoot one episode. Wow. Well, I was wearing the freaking 12 hours. Dang it, I keep getting food on us. That, that makes me wonder, how long do you think the, the very first episode of Double Dare took to take, like, five hours? Maybe. Well, considering the freaking Nightmare incident,
they forgot to put the flag in twice, and then the third time, the cameraman got injured. No, so apparently they actually put the flag in the second time, except they put it on the top and they just dumped the entire bag out, losing the flag. And, and, they like, and then there was another time, oh, it was in 87, I think the, the other camera, I don't think the camera got injured, I think the other camera just stopped working, so they kept showing the audience. And then the other time in 88, I think that, I'm not sure if the camera fell, but I'm sure that the actual camera broke. It was a smart decision to have multiple cameras on that show. Thank God. Miss. Oh, freaking Kierney or whatever the hell his name is back in my comments bitching again. No. Well, we did our old worst but, uh, videos or something. He has like the same level three as Rings apparently. And then you know oh the freaking. God. God dang it! And you know the freaking like, curse thing I said for 124? Yeah. And he's like, no, he's not. I'm like, dude, I'm making a joke. G good game. Do I just swap my controller because it's breaking my game apparently? And then another. And one more time, the only Double Dare episode that you remember seeing on Nick Rewind was the Who's Your Hot Shots one. I think so, I don't remember. I remember seeing like an 86 one, because I remember seeing two red games. Uh, yeah, that probably was Raiders in the Mets. That's the, like the most widely circulated 86 episode. I'm not sure why they. I'm not sure why they use that. I'm not sure why they use that instead of like another episode to replace it. Cause they only filmed one episode during that day. I remember for the testing day, somewhere near Arcade. I think Fast and did five for their first day. Hidden Temple was technically two and three quarters. Oh, he had like no points in that. Yeah, because it was two and three quarters, so they did it. Uh, go they did the cannonball and the dead man's hand, and then they like, gave everything my squad to run for the little cup. Mm -hmm. I think it's a nice bit of one because. I need to put this on the first stop. Um, that uh, layout, layout five, is the only layout in the show where no one managed to reach the artifacts. Hmm. And uh, I think the phone is just someone who's like one room away. They got freaking separate artifacts in one room away. That really stinks, but uh, and but for. I forget which seasons of Double Dare do they do, like, main game for first, for every episode, and then the obstacle course, was that for all the seasons? I'm not sure, I'm going to ask, wait, Mario's on my team, right? Oh, thank you, Mario, for carrying us. She wins by doing nothing. Finish. Now I think of it, it was probably after syndication. It was probably, like, uh, after the... After 88, after the classic era, they did, like, the levels order. Yeah, I was skipping, yeah, I was skipping for a couple of the episodes for 88B, because so I can just get the number of questions and stuff for the thing or whatever. I rewatched the one, because it made me laugh, the Vulcans. The one, we got three nine. That's a song for a producer, being that we're way over budget. You got four to ten dollars, that's enough to pay for the heart, um, whatever, of Jeffrey Darby. Uh, this is the first time someone broke 400. Okay, not even the super s freaking thingy! I don't know what we're playing, we're playing something. Oh, great. And one more thing, do you prefer the triangular scoreboards or the rectangular scoreboards? I'm not sure, I'm trying to... Of course, the game that actually involves vision, I'm not going to go play. Oh, 
Oh my damn. Do I have to switch to Jorah for God's sake? Is that my issue? Good, good, good work. Good, good work. Good work, team. Clipping that. If my twitch would freaking work, I'd be going further, but it broke. Say something correct, but then second guess. I think it was an audience gave away one of the answers or something. Okay, yep. I think when you listen carefully, he says Marilyn, but then discounts himself, and thus, um, thus discards it. But, but I don't think he did that in any other episode. He was, he says the wrong answer immediately and then dismisses. I know when they did that. I know on the what was it the. Master tape, he gave credit for the wrong answer because he didn't hear what they said. And then he asked another question. The other team got it wrong, so um they basically ended up getting rid of that question and uh they, they had to stop the production and fix it. This is not the actual episode, but if you watch the master tape, they actually keep it in. And, and but at least uh, but we obviously know beamers and navigators that obstacle course stuff so it was not worth airing a third time but raging rascals i'm not sure what was wrong with that yes yeah, was the first thing okay so that happened in the freaking day Yeah, the International Woman's probably do the uh, legal issues or whatever with the International shows or something. And we don't... And it's kind of ironic that one of the lost episodes was featured in a movie, and that would have... I'm not sure if the license issues with that had to prevent its reruns, but the other lost episode was presumably from the first day of taping. Because yeah, so I don't wanna... This was brought up in a time ago there episode. And Mark and Marcus said they never got paid, they didn't get paid for the movie. For her, uh, cameo. Oh. Uh, based on the obstacle horse, they probably got six or s uh, just six. Ready? Because they were finishing with a good movie. Oh. And you probably probably skim through the episode that was featured on uh, the Goldbergs Head Bashers. Okay, so I'm 
I'm slowly watching the rest of stuff, so I'll probably start watching some other stuff soon. Okay. I might get ADHD. I, I might get ADHD out of the way because although I can be the dummy over, I might just stick to the older, younger stuff. Honestly. And then there was, oh yeah, Beach Bombs never aired. We're gonna have to, yeah, we're probably gonna have to rewatch all those episodes to see what's suspicious. Okay, my favorite one that didn't air the freaking 750 one is because she was way above the production or something. I don't know how that works. Like, 530 with the Apache and you have a 490. That was not because the other teams didn't get that high of score. Or they just had lucky, uh, good luck with the dares and no one errors. Um, and then there was, uh... Like, Super Sloppy Double Dare in New York was 23 minutes, right? Yes. Okay, I was gonna say, it was like 21. The freaking illegal eagle was getting 440. Hey, uh, the illegal eagle was getting 440. Like, to be fair, that can that was kind of hard anyway. The secret air is getting really good in the second round. And then there was oh oh oh. oh. Uh, and of course, I guess they didn't. I guess uh, maybe it was Marshall Plus that they not re-aired the uh, man in the boat episode due to due to how outrageous it was. And which probably could explain why he quietly said he still has the episode. Uh, you still hear me? Yep. And then there was, uh, do you still, do you believe that the rest of those episodes were damaged via water or no? Uh, sure. But, uh, but once again, I'm sure Viacom can't claim the Falcons episode since it was one not on Paramount Plus and two uploaded by the player. But, but, but at least one person has made a backup already, right? Yeah. And to be honest. But again, uh, thanks again for those, thanks to those commercials, we found out the date, it was October 30th. And, uh, and also he said in the comments, one of his friends was on the next episode, The Flackers. And they... Yeah, I think that's the lowest combined score, though, because I had 350 combined. Start! <laughs> I don't know if I'm just trying to win on the freaking lost episode. I'm assuming I'm going to do that one. Yeah, especially, especially when they had less than 30 seconds after the hamster wheel. Yeah. Less than 30 seconds. You might do a second round. But of course, the easy obstacle was slime now, so they got that immediately. I'm still wondering. Still cannot wait for I'm 
hoping, I'm not hoping we're going to finish finding Delta Bear by 2026. And you know what year that would be. Yep. Okay, hours. Guys, time, okay? Oh, good. We need to do all the work, and I got one guy getting point for it. For this medium. And to the. And another. And I'm not sure when it was confirmed that season one had 70 episodes instead of 65. I'm guessing 2018 because of the revival. But that was a pretty neat discovery. That was a pretty neat discovery. They were like, okay, it's now 65, 70. But I'm, but I'm certain. I'm, I'm, but I'm not entirely certain that one of those was the injury episode. Yeah, there are some of those reviews, honestly. I know, I believe, to the best of my knowledge, Barnes said that they never redid the course due to the injury, so it had to have been the first taping of the day. Yeah, I had to, it was definitely not found, I was assuming it was like 86 or 87. Yeah, and, and he said, and then when he refers to the sewer shoot, he, was, he refers to the double ladder version. So that was from the first two seasons when he, when the, when he broke his neck. And... And of course, due to the lawyer, they were given the TV. And, and to the best, and to the best of all, and of course, to the best of anyone's knowledge, nobody knows who these two players were. Briefly. Finish. I'm gonna have. Yeah, we're gonna have to see. Do you think we're gonna have? Do you think there are any other games for contestants out there who have their episodes after 30 plus years? Maybe. You didn't have anyone from Family Feud comment on your videos, have you? No, not no. It would be really awesome if they would. And of course I got one game for common, and that was uh, one of the jacket winners from Figure It Out. Yeah, I got a couple. As I mentioned before, but... Alright, Todd, I got a bunch of people from the old family bracer stuff. I had a Austin who was the only part winner from season 4 of Etienne, and then we had... Then I had a Kevin via Brain Trust from the I Carbon episode. I'm the Yeah, and uh, to be honest, I think that was a, I think I got a lot, lot, a lot luckier with a that jacket winner rather than an actual player because those were, they were, they had less of a prominence in the episode. So in my opinion, that's that's honestly a lot rarer, right? Because I remember I showed before a couple of videos I was watching for Think Fans, we had two contestants and then someone who worked behind the scenes or something in the locker room on the one video. Start! I still wish we had a production, I still wish we had a production code for that show, because I know the first, like, I mean, before it was two. 
Holy crap, I think I might have the first video I've seen the computer actually not screw that up. Wow. Cause I think, like, yeah, hopefully you're the... Yeah, because of two laggy episodes, I know the first two on uh, production, because they kept the game the same. list of the production people and maybe we could find like their LinkedIn or communication together and we could they can give us a even they can give us another lead. How's that sound? And uh, looking at, and one more thing, looking at Nick Gass's schedule, what was the very first episode, what do you think the very first episode of any show to ever air her was? Yeah, I'm not sure, I'm something that would air. It was Nick Arcade and Guess the Episode. 1.7, for the everyone? No, it was the, Finish. it was the, uh, Red Team Only Plays at the End one. AKA the one where the AKA the one where the contestant finally came forward. Ruben. Um, Isn't that cool? Yeah, I feel good for the freaking red team. Well, they didn't get to do anything. I mean this is has to play a game with the pie, so I'm not something to say. And then but but then the other red team, uh the uh, 138, they almost lost all their points for that video challenge and then they did nothing. No, they had the prize, they had the prize. They got the hockey table or whatever. And then, and then to the, and then the yellow team on the other hand got four prizes total. And... <laughs> And I find it interesting that was the one taping that day where the Universal trip was not being offered. Instead, it was the, the Zenith camcorder. Thank God. But I'm still... But... But I still find it a little bit interesting that they did they aired all the stuff in random order first. And but then they'll also repeat it later in the day. Yeah, did you see that Nick was up on a season two to get the picture now? Yeah, curious about that. Because I know I know that shit season two but he only did 35 out of 75 episodes because the guy who was using only has uh, 30 episodes. Because there are technically four episodes we're still missing. Because the one episode that was missing that I found was the one where the, basically the team got freaking. Oh, yes. Nope. Because the one thing was like the orange team got 80 points, and it's like, here's the guy I don't get. Like, I understand in the old episodes when you gave away money, you'd bump up their total 1200. Why the heck did you bump up the team's total to 100 there? It's not like they're gonna win anything. It's not like it's gonna make a difference. But, uh... And then, to the best of my knowledge, get the picture of the twins episode as well. Uh, yeah, it's time for the second best time, uh, for season two. Yeah, that's why I, before I did that record video, I quickly skimmed a bunch of episodes to like find those keepers and make the grades so I didn't so I actually knew what I was doing this time. Hmm. And and I and, I, and once again I'm still pissed that they never included this show for the 90s or all that. They included Guts, Figured Out, Family Double Man, and Legends, but not that. And, but you, 
and I've probably told you this already, but they aired only four Wienerville episodes for Nick Week Rewind. And all those were... And all those were immediately captured. But at least we know that uh, the host himself has all the episodes. Even if he can't release them. But again, that was... <laughs> Well, that was an interesting thing of that one figured out on his last figured out that he was there for only half of it and he was replaced by Phil. Yeah, it was like probably two days. It was only about two days now. And, oh yeah, I think that was the day that uh, Lori Beth was asked into shoot her figured out scene. I and mean, then, no, no, her good for her scene. Yeah, because Jan was only there for four episodes. Fortunately, her first episode had freaking awful talents. And yeah, they. Yeah, that... Oh, yeah, that was the. Oh, yeah, that was the episode that you. The first episode that you saw in Nick Rewind. Oh, well, everyone actually won that one. Oh. Okay, we have 269, we win. I'm so... I'm still hoping we're gonna beat Nickel... Completely beat Nickel for these systems one day. We're gonna upscale all the missing stuff. We're gonna recreate them as master tapes. As we're, we're gonna be the leaders now. I think I brought this up before, but two of the Family Feud episodes I got, I would have gotten from Ryan, but I got them from um, Josh early, so that takes up on the list. I'm gonna have to pay attention to which ones I need, because... Or at least, 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 or of course, it had to be that one to be left alone. Bruce, um, I need to put those on a playlist on my Aaron Archive, because I still have those on my computer. And to be honest, I'm just, are you really happy that you kind of get a Nick Arcade uh, result with your search name for the book? That act. Yeah, even though there's like nothing on YouTube except for part three, which makes zero sense. As well as that uh, time bomb compilation. Okay, time bomb makes sense. Time bomb just makes sense. Uh, you're breaking up. What were you saying? Time bomb just makes sense. It's like short. But, uh, but again, that show gained you a really good handful of shots, didn't it? And I'm, I still, I'm still lucky for that. Uh, oh my video. God, lady, forty-seven. Oh. Okay. Let's well, kind of...
It's going to be a great... Uh, it's going to be a great day when we get... When we finally find... All the double there, all the figured outs, so all the get the pictures and fake fast. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I'm still waiting on the lost media found in uh, July through September because we want him to, you know, who to include the blueprint stuff. Okay, so, and one more thing, we know, uh, Double Dare Season 1 was September to October 86 taping, uh, uh, Season uh, 2 was January through February, and then Season 3, January through February, and then it was April to May, I'll have to check again. I like how immediate Double Dare was with airing and, and taping, it was literally at most a two month gap. And I'll see you around. Oh, 
we'll do a little bit more about this around one string. Okay, we're going.
No, I'm too freaking slow again. Damn it. Let me freaking slow up the door now. Let me use the freaking other one. Actually, I can use your damage, but that's not freaking sad. I know I can use the words to myself, but it must be done. Sad, honestly.
Okay, my name is Frank. You know, let's swap with the controller. Swap with the controller, I guess. Okay, so let's get it for this week, I guess. Yeah, we suck. We're done. See you guys next week. Later, guys. We will be doing Eternal Star next. 